So I'm looking for my country man. If you're out there, if you love country music, if you like going on road trips, being in the outdoors, bonfires, dancing, just living a simple, wholesome life, please DM me. Ooh, it's a lady. <laughs> She's attempting to present herself as a lady and wants to date a man who lives a wholesome life. But is she herself a wholesome individual? Let's check her other videos to find out. Damn, girl, you got some beautiful lips. You should see the other ones. Huh? Huh? Help me, stepbrother. I'm stuck. That's nasty. Do these videos look like the kind of content a wholesome woman would produce? Not really, no. Being wholesome requires a person to be pure, respectable, and non-corrupted. Someone who's capable of living a decent, proper, and clean existence. Yeah, obviously. Dating apps don't work. I haven't found him out in person, so maybe, maybe, I will on TikTok, so. Bruh. Doesn't hurt. <sighs> she wants a wholesome gentleman, but she herself is not a wholesome lady. You better not be saying what I think you're saying. What we might have here is a solipsistic entitled modern woman with chameleon-esque tendencies. Men need to be wary of this kind of behavior because the chameleon is capable of pulling the bait and switch at any time. True. I'm 36. Single. No kids. And that's okay because I know my one is out there. Wherever you are, I love you. At 36 years old, the likelihood of a woman meeting her Prince Charming is low. Not every pot has a lid. The next two clips show the same woman, going from 37 and then 38. Note the difference in tone from the last clip. 37, single, no kids. Notices nothing but red flags in any man she dates. Later. Hey y'all, so if you are new to my page, welcome. I just wanted to make a quick video because you're gonna see a couple of different things. You're gonna see information about my egg freezing journey. No, God, please, no, no! An egg freezing journey is becoming increasingly common on social media. This is usually marketed under the guise of women's empowerment and women taking control of their own destiny. Subvert the patriarchy. However, the potential issues surrounding egg freezing is also something many men need to be aware of. The shit's chess, it ain't checkers. Egg freezing can cost fifteen to twenty thousand dollars per cycle, which is a single batch of eggs. It often requires multiple cycles to increase chances of success. This place is bullshit. An egg freezing clinic might tell you our success rate is X, and you might think, oh, that's, that sounds good. Um, what they may not tell you is that that is based on donor eggs of 25-year-olds, whereas actually you're a 38-year-old, which is the average age of most people who go to egg clinics, and therefore your chances are much lower, so you are not that number that they're showing you. Obviously, egg freezing is extremely expensive, but it should also be understood that the process is often not as effective as is advertised. We spoke to Professor Robert Winston, Britain's leading fertility doctor and pioneer of IVF treatment. What he said was, it's quite powerful stuff. Women are being conned by private IVF clinics. The field is being driven by profit, often at the expense of patients. National statistics show egg freezing is extremely unsuccessful as it has an overall success rate of less than 10%. He came on here once, and I'll never forget his words. He said, we are peddling in disappointment. You're goddamn right. So why is it important that a man be informed on these issues? I have no idea. First, some women will ask their partner to split the cost of egg freezing. What? Second, some women can't afford the process, so the parents, most likely the father, will end up paying for it. Say what now? And third, any man that's attempting to become a father via frozen eggs should be prepared for heartbreak because the procedure is so unreliable. Good call! Yeah, I wish somebody would have prepared me for the dating world um, after my divorce. I had no idea that so many grown-ass men still liked to play petty games. Like, Seriously, I am 100% content by myself. 
Denial ain't just a river in South America. She's making TikToks, complaining about men. This alone suggests she's not 100% happy by herself. I am very capable of making myself happy <laughs> and providing for myself. I am busy. I don't have time for games. I am trying my best to be successful in my job. I'm trying to build a home for me and my kids. I'm trying to stay healthy. I'm trying to maintain relationships with my friends and my family. I don't have time for stupid games. I don't have time for it. When a woman says she no longer has time for games, it's usually because her sexual market value is not what it used to be. She knows that time is running out for her to hit that buzzer beater. When she was at peak sexual market value, it's likely that she herself was the one playing games because at that stage of her life, she had the upper hand. So, just throwing this out here. Um, if you want to come into my life to cause chaos and confusion and to play stupid games, just leave me alone. Seriously. The men are probably not looking to cause chaos. More, they're looking to either smash and dash or be able to have bedroom fun without any commitment. This is an issue women need to face when they've hit the wall and their sexual market value has declined. Last time I was single, I was 24 and the dating pool was everyone. And now it's like a shallow puddle of age appropriate men who are old and gross and I don't want to do that. What? This is what happens when water seeks its own level. Nothing haunts you like the choices you don't make. Exactly.